Hello and welcome back to Dr. How. Today I'm going to be talking about two open source programs, Inkscape and KDN Live, which is the KDE video editor. Now this uh, shot that we're seeing at the moment is from the first episode of the final third Doctor story, Planet of the Spiders. The Doctor gives his sonic screwdriver to a psychic, Professor Clegg, who examines it and sees imagery which is placed onto this scanner screen. So there's a couple of problems here. One is that uh, all of the shots which are shown from this sequence are um, of the Drashig from the Carnival of Monsters. And it would be nice just to have a lot more shots of the Drashig in here. No, of course I'm kidding. Uh, it would be nice to actually have some monsters uh, from the John Pertwee era, uh, and not just the Drashig. We'd like to see some Daleks at least, for example. Uh, the other problem is, just, just on the right here, you can see that there's a red light underneath the scanner screen. And if we just go to the... Uh, if we just have a look at those frames, you can see that when we actually have the close-up, we don't see the, the red light. And this uh, static screen which appears actually sort of bleeds outside the, uh, outside the, sh the, the screen itself, which is a little bit noisy there. It doesn't look, doesn't look great. If we just go on a bit further, what we'd like to do is find a nice clean shot like this, which has got a nice clean edge on the scanner screen. And what we'd like to do is to replace that scanner screen with a blue screen effect and fix that red light down the bottom there, so that it actually uh, has continuity, proper continuity. So this is what we're going to use. We're going to use Inkscape. Uh, it's a scalable vector graphics editor, SVG. We're going to put a New, create a new blue screen effect in inside the screen itself with nice rounded borders and we're going to create a little red light there. So what we do is we just create a empty page. Oh, I've chosen an A4 page there, it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to load up the, uh, the nice clean frame that we're going to work from. So we're going to go down to frame 50 and uh, load that up. And then we'll just uh, place that somewhere in the shot. Then uh, we'll just uh, maybe I'll just zoom in there. All right. So what we're going to do is get the Bezier curve editor uh, and we're just going to add some lines on. Now we're just going to add some lines on roughly here. This is a, a vector graphics program so we can change where these lines are later on. So we just roughly go around the edges just approximate those corners for the moment and join it up at the end And we're going to change the color. I'm going to set the fill color to blue. Nice uh, bright blue there. We don't really need the stroke paint, uh, stroke effect on the outside at all. Now we're going to use the node edit editor to make those corner points smooth. So we use this auto smooth tool, which makes it a nice rounded corner there. We can just adjust where that point is. And we, you can see we get this nice smooth corner. We can adjust all of those corners. We just smooth those off and then we can actually move some of the anchor points around to adjust where the lines are to get it just right. Alright, that's good enough. So once we get that blue screen effect there, we can now work on the, the red light. We just move down there. So what we're going to do is create a circle and we'll set it to red, change the fill colour. 
and then we just move that on over the top of where the light should be. Just resize that to make it a little bit, a uh, little bit bigger. So that doesn't look particularly convincing, as you can see. So what we're going to do is create another one, and we can just move that on after changing the color there a bit. We can set the color to whatever we want. Uh, we can just move that on there. We can build up a concentric set of circles there. We can just change that and make that a little bit more orange there. A bit brighter, make it a bit transparent. And you can see that the final effect will be something like this. This is the one I prepared earlier. I'll just zoom in. You can see you can get concentric circles there getting gradually brighter and that produces a reasonable enough effect. Hopefully people will be looking at what's inside the uh, the blue screen, not the red light. So then we export that bitmap out as a uh, PNG image. And uh, then we're going to load it up into this program, which is KDEN Live. And this is the KDE uh, video editor. This is a slightly old version, but uh, it's uh, it's a pretty good little video editor. So we right click there, add a clip. The clip we're going to add is just that uh, PNG file that we saved out of Inkscape. So that's that viewer screen with the blue screen effect on. We can make that as long as we want. Uh, it's just a single image but we can make it as many seconds long as we want. Now let's add another clip where we're going to source some other imagery from. This is Death to the Daleks. Uh, there's a sequence in the city of Exelon there where the sonic screwdriver is used. So we'll just scan forward to find the the scene that we want. So here's the sonic screwdriver there. So we just uh, scan to the right spot, click on the clip, shift R to cut it in half, and then we click on the bit we don't want, press delete, and that goes away. So then we, we want to scan to the end of the shot that we want. Uh, somewhere around here will do. So we'll just uh, shift R to cut that clip in half, and then hit delete on the bit that we don't want. And then we can move that underneath there, but um, what will happen is that you'll see that it doesn't work. We can't see anything yet. Video 1 just overlays video 2 and we don't see video 2 at all. So what we need to do is add a blue screen effect. So we right click there, add an effect. Uh, so this is an alpha manipulation effect blue screen. So we add that on there. Uh, it's got a default blue color but we'll use the dropper there just to select the exact blue that we've got. And you can see we still don't have anything. Why? because we've got to do a second thing. We, norm, normally a video will overlay any video underneath it, so we've got to actually combine them with this composite effect. And what this composite effect does is, you can see it there, this, this yellow thing there, that actually combines those two videos, video one and video two, so that where we have the blue screen effect, uh, we can source imagery from the second video. So that allows those two videos to be combined to actually produce a combined uh, output. And you can see that the that uh, video is appearing there, but um, there's a problem here that the the walls aren't quite uh, lined up. It doesn't look quite like it's actually within the video uh, screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another effect. You won't be able to see this is off the bottom of the screen, unfortunately, but I'm going to add a rotate and shear effect. And you can see that uh, what we can actually do there's various there's all kinds of things you can change here. But I'm going to shear the Y and just bend the walls there so that they look a bit like it's actually on the, the screen. And you can see that, that now lines up a bit better um, with the edge there. And this is the final effect. You can see we've got more monsters there, and we've got the red glowing light there, just for continuity. So I've taken a few clips from uh, various John Pertwee stories, anything that involved the sonic screwdriver in some way. And here's the final result. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Howe. See you next time. Goodbye.